graph and label the intercepts. Here we're given an equation x squared plus the quantity y plus 2 squared equals 25. Now the first thing I notice is that this is quadratic in both x and y. Furthermore, I recognize this as standard form for the equation of a circle. Recall that the standard form for the equation of the circle looks like the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. If we can write the circle in this form, then we can see the center is h comma k, and the radius is r. And so that's going to be the first step. Let's determine the center and the radius of this particular circle. Now we can be absolutely certain what the center is if we rewrite this equation as x minus 0 squared that's equivalent to x squared, plus y minus negative 2 squared equals 5 squared. Notice y minus negative 2 is equivalent to y plus 2. Written like this, it should be clear that the center is 0 comma negative 2, and that the radius here is 5. Now given the center and the radius, we can sketch the graph of the circle. Now to sketch this graph, we'll start at the center, 0 comma negative 2, and we'll mark off the radius horizontally and vertically. And so horizontally, you can see here, we'll have a point on the graph at 5 comma negative 2, and another point at negative 5 comma negative 2. Now marking 5 units off vertically, we'll have a y-intercept there at 0 comma 3, and another y-intercept at 0 comma negative 7. Now we're ready to sketch this graph. And remember, this is a rough sketch. Okay, now the problem also asked us to label the intercepts. So we can see here we have a y-intercept at 0 comma 3 and another at 0 comma negative 7, but the x-intercepts aren't so clear. And so to, to determine those, we'll have to use algebra. Now we know to find the x-intercepts, we set y equal to 0. And the original equation was x squared plus the quantity y plus 2 squared equals 25. And so when we set y equal to 0, we're left with x squared plus 0 plus 2 squared equals 25, or x squared plus 4 equals 25. Now we'll solve this by extracting the square roots. Let's go ahead and isolate the square. x squared then would equal 21. Now applying the square root property, we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 21. And so that tells us we have x-intercepts at negative square root of 21 comma 0 and positive square root of 21 comma 0. Now the square root of 21 on a calculator is about 4.6, so that looks pretty good. This point would be positive square root of 21 comma 0, and the other x-intercept over here is negative square root of 21 comma 0. And there we have it, the original equation, a sketch of the original equation here with the intercepts labeled.